Hey guys, this is Mac. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been watching my videos for long, you know not only did I like to go fast on the three gun course, but I also like to go fast on the street. Today we're going to be tuning our 2014 5.3 Silverado with a Diablo Intune i3 computer programmer. So stay tuned. <laughs> Man, that is such a difference. Now, tuning the engine on your truck or car uh, at home actually is pretty easy and quick with these handheld programmers. Um, it's probably the most straightforward option for changing programming that probably the majority of people uh, do out there. Now, the other option is dyno tuning, and in your daily driver like this truck, uh, it's really not indicated. So you can get a couple of cool features out of a handheld programmer like the Diablo, uh, just right here in your garage. And I think that people usually like to program their ECU on their vehicle for maybe one of three reasons. Number one, they want a little bit better performance uh, power-wise, uh, which you can get in a pretty standard or a canned tune like the one on this programmer. A little bit better horsepower, maybe a little bit better torque, really because it maps uh, the horsepower and torque curves a little bit better and adds a little bit of timing to the engine. Uh, number two, I think a lot of people do this because they think they might get better gas mileage. Uh, and that might be true if you baby the vehicle and you never ever go wide open throttle. Uh, in reality, you're gonna probably appreciate the performance better and your foot's gonna be on the gas. So probably not gonna see a lot better gas mileage, but we'll track that and we'll see. And then third, the ability to sort of customize some of the features of your vehicle, like um, maybe the shift points on the transmission, uh, shift points out of the gears, a little bit higher rev limiter. Uh, and then the particular reason why I wanted to do this was uh, this engine, the 5.3 Ecotech, has something called displacement on demand, which shuts down four cylinders at certain times to sort of get you better gas mileage. It goes into a V4 mode, which I absolutely hate. Um, not many people are a big fan of that. And in reality, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference gas mileage wise. So the program is going to allow me to shut that off permanently. So let's get into the box. This should take about five minutes. Pretty straightforward, easy to do. Let's get started. Now first thing you got to do on this program and probably a lot of others when you get it out of the box is you have to update the device because there's a good chance that by the time you actually receive it from the manufacturer there's been an update to the files. So the Diablo comes with um, an updating program called Ignition, which you download from their website. It's available for Windows-based uh, PCs and also for Macs. So you download that, you take the programmer out of the box, plug it in with a USB cable, and let it do its thing. Now, once you have the programmer plugged in to the OBD port, uh, you will get this warning message at the beginning. You're just going to accept that by hitting yes. And then you're presented with these options. Now, we're going to go for tune the vehicle. And it's going to ask me to ensure that the key's in the run position, but don't actually turn the engine on. So we do that. Hit continue. And what it's actually going to do first is back up the factory tune, which will take a couple of minutes. and then you're presented with a couple of options. Uh, easy tune, I'll just show you that screen. That gives you opportunity to do like a 93 tune, a 91 or an 87 or a mile per gallon boost. Um, I'm not gonna be using these. I'm actually gonna go with the advanced tune, which is gonna allow me to do the Diablo tune as well as change some of the parameters. So we'll go with install the standard tune and we're gonna go with the Diablo tune now it's called a flex tune because it's good for not only 93 octane, but this vehicle can take E85 as well. So we'll go with the Diablo flex tune. It's gonna ask me to confirm this and I'm gonna go with yes. Now uh, that was for actually for the engine tune. Now it's gonna ask me to install the tune for the transmission. So we'll go, go with uh, trans firm shift tune. I guess you could also go with hard shift, you can modify or we could do skip control unit, we're gonna go with the firm shift. 
and we're going to confirm that. Now it says that it's ready to read the backup. We're going to hit yes and it's going to pull the factory tune off of my ECM and put it onto the device so that when it installs the Diablo tune, we've got a backup. Okay, now it's backed up the factory tune. Now it's time to actually apply the tune that we want to apply to. Um, now I could actually go in here and modify some of the parameters if I want. Um, and I am gonna do that. I'm gonna turn off the displacement on demand. So I'll go to modify parameters and that's gonna be under DOD or AFM calibration. And I'll go here to turn it on or off. You can see right now that it's still turned on. I'm going to select that I want it to be turned off. Okay, so I've got that. That's been changed, and that's why now it has an asterisk next to it. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of different things that we can change here. We could change uh, what RPM we idle at. Uh, we could um, change the tuning with power enrichment. I'm not going to touch any of that stuff. Uh, we could change the rev limiter, or we could remove the speed limiter from the truck. Uh, we could change spark, we're not going to touch that, speed calibration, and throttle calibration. Uh, this allows uh, for a throttle boost, um, sort of when you first get on the gas pedal from like 0 to 20%. I'm going to play with that at some point. We're going to leave it where it is for now. Alright, now we're ready to write the tune. So we're going to click apply tune, and you can see it's going to take a couple minutes here, but it's going to go through, and it's going to write our new Diablo tune to the ECM. And it asks you to do a couple of um, on-off sequences here. So we're going to turn the ignition off. Back on. And off again. And back on. And that's it. It's completely written now. The whole entire process takes just about five minutes, about two minutes to back up your factory tune and about two minutes to write the new one. So you just hit continue. It's gonna reboot the device, but the truck's ready now. So I'm just gonna do a test start now just to make sure that we didn't mess anything up. Sounds good, doesn't it? Everything on the dash looks good. No check engine light, no warnings. So uh, we're written. It's time to go test this baby out, make sure everything runs good, and uh, see what difference it makes. So I hope you enjoyed that quick uh, overview and install video on this Diablo i3 tuner. Uh, it's probably just a general overview of how uh, handheld computer tuning works on vehicles. It's a pretty straightforward process. You're basically just taking your factory tune off and uh, replacing it with a better performing or a better tuned uh, file from the handheld tuner. Pretty simple, takes about five to 10 minutes. Just make sure that your device is updated before you get started and uh, see what it'll do. Let's take this thing out and let it rip. Uh, once again, this is Mac. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, stay tuned, we'll do, we'll do some more videos uh, regarding the, the gas mileage and the performance and, and what we think about this device. So thanks for joining me again. Check out some of my other videos and we'll see you next time. Oh. <laughs>
fantastic.